I see it by now. I just want you to let that marinate. This is going to be one of the baddest debates ever. Hard, powerful information. The general, Sarah Suit Setting, taking on the irritated G. All right? This is not no fluke. This is going to be a powerful, powerful battle for the minds and information for the black youth and the black people that's out there. Now, check this out, family. Look at the topic. Is the N-word a destructive force in the black community? What are the issues facing African people in the 21st century? Tell me that's not a powerful topic. We need these brothers to go in hard body on this one. All right? Now, that is July the 12th. Make sure you get your tickets now. Don't wait till the last goddamn minute, family. You know how we do. We're going to have this right at the National Black Theater. The showdown of all showdowns. All right? So, have your ass in the building. Peace and black power. What you don't structure, I'm going to help you. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Charles, we just had an extra conversation, right? This guy is still talking about he's a black man or something. Oh, that's fine. No, but talk to him about that black man. No, 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 fine. Help him out. Fine. Let me, let me school you. Let me, let me, no, let me, let me, let me, let me school you. Sinetta. This is a very interesting and a great opportunity. Because what I'm telling you is what Il Malik found out. What I'm telling you is what John found out. What I'm telling you is what Wallace found out. What I'm telling you is what Khalid found out and why all of them were ostracized by certain people who should have been loving them. Do you understand? I'm going to tell you what his teacher didn't find out. Yeah. Who your teacher? Go ahead, let me finish that first. You're throwing too much. I'm trying to now, listen to him, man. Shut up, man. Now Damn. listen. Now listen. Y'all bug it. Y'all keep cutting in. Now, I won't qualify One thing like at this. a time. Because most of the time when people contest they're looking at opposites rather than just looking at information so I'm saying to you I'm not opposing your position so I'm qualifying that already and I'm not telling you that you're wrong I'm qualifying that again <laughs> I'm telling you you have misunderstanding of the language and I'm going to qualify what I'm saying while I'm saying it but I'm also going to qualify these are things that must be comprehended and can be Easily proven. Are we clear? I'm not going to make anything complex. Are we clear? Go for it. Now, what all of our people need to understand around the world is that everything, everything, all right. This is my brother Taj begins with status. This is all over the world. This is all over the world. And the doc will tell you, because he's a professor, he's a teacher. Certain words we use connotatively because it's casual. But when it comes to serious matter, history and language, and we really want to fix things, we must always go to the etymon, particularly when it comes to law. In casual language, we can get away with these things. In law, you won't. We don't keep losing because we're bad people. We keep losing because we can't read. And we don't respect it. Are we clear? Are we clear? Now, example, I'm giving you something that you can find out for yourself. Go home in an ordinary dictionary. Look at the word black. There's nothing wrong with the word black, so don't get it twisted. I'm not condemning the word. Do you understand? I'm telling you what people need to understand about language. The key to making our people what is known as non-descendable, which is a political agenda under the secret treaty of Verona and the doctrine of discovery, to steal estates. This is what brands serve as a political function, not just as an informational linguistic function. It serves from an estate principle of making such persons non-descendable. This is one of the missions as to why they also put the European family names on us. In law, what occurs when you transact business in another man's name, no matter how many generations, in law it makes you non-descendable. And our people don't know that. So they think that we're criticizing 
utilizing the word black. It's not that. It's the descendability principle. If they knew the history, they would know this function. Now, black. Ordinary dictionary. Third grade grammar. Adjective. Third grader. Baby. Uh, what's a proper noun? Baby. Proper nouns, person, place, thing, or idea. What's an adjective? It's a modifier. It can modify a noun with qualification. But it cannot be an identity. It describes. It does not identity. identify. Third grade grammar. An adult, because they wrote a black book, will try to defend that. Take the child to an ordinary dictionary. Adjective. Then go to the brackets. And it'll have M-E. Then you take the child to the appendix and you put its number on it, which is its date. And he's a teacher, he'll tell you. 1100 to 1500, which means that word doesn't go on the planet past 1100. Middle English. Then it says D-E-R, derived, Old High German. Then you go look up in the appendix, American Heritage Dictionary, Ordinary Dictionary, High School, Shining and Pale. That's what it means. So What's that got to do with, no, wait a minute, okay. what does that have to do with complexion? But that's not really the argument. <laughs> the issue is when you use it as an identity, it becomes what is known in law a nom de guerre. Now in law, this is what occurs in law. International law is based on nations and nation states. The nation states are based on the pedigrees of people and sometimes they're politically attributed. However, it is based on the honors of your mothers and your fathers. And that's what pulls in what is known as the common law to trump Roman law, civil law, canon law. And you know the canon law is what they use for the double stock trust when they put our people under their brand system. That's what they use, a double stock truck. You don't believe it, go right into congressional records. Because it's documented, it's not hidden. And anybody who claims to be a scholar and don't acknowledge that is either deceiving or they're full of doo-doo. Now, I'm telling you the facts that can be researched for yourself, so I'm giving you reference. Now, as soon as you transact business in that European name, Smith, Jones, and Johnson, and law is called agency, no matter how many generations, it automatically goes to, as state property, your ward of the state. Same thing with the marriage certificate, which is registered in the Department of Orphans by that reverend who's nine times out of ten is a mason and act like he don't know what a fez is, don't know that these people are Moors, got a 501c3 skull and bones agreement, kickback, ETC, know these people are Moors, that's just short for Al Moroccan, Al Moroccan is what they call Americans, we're the Americans, we're the, we're the people of the land, and this ain't India, though they call us Indians, I'm Anyamwia, or what they call Cherokee, they ain't Cherokee, it's Anyamwia, and my grandmom's side is Blackfoot, they ain't Blackfoot either, do you understand, those are European codes, and this is not India, we're Moabite, Canaan night blood and we crossed the river before the great earthquake so sometimes they call us Ebri, those who cross the river Hebrew but that's not an identity that's a thing we've done do you understand yes, sure. not to be confused with anything else now the deal of this as soon as you look at of that word then you'll see in an ordinary unabridged dictionary then we'll have right beneath it the morphology or the transit of the words from one language to another it will have black dot a dot more dot and then the black will be all solid case, the more will be capitalized, small case, more small case, R. And they'll say archaic, no longer used. And they'll separate the black adjective from the more, says any dark skinned man, woman, or child, Asiatic, African. Okay, can I ask you two In questions? ordinary dictionary. Can I ask you, you understand? Real quick? Go ahead. Um, Good brother. I like that, bro. Should we I'm use. I'm going home to study now. Right. So, so I've got two questions. I've got two uh, questions. What's your nationality? Right? I am. I have two yeah. questions. Hold on, watch it. I love you Come too, on, brother. Let me ask brother a question. So, the first question would be Should we or must we use European philosophy as far as this categorization of particular people? That's should we use anthropology. that? Should we use that? You should study as, it and drop it. You should study it, no, qualify, no, no, and no, drop no. it. I'm yeah. talking about. When we use in a dictionary, obviously we speak in English, so we're going to use the words, right? But what I'm saying, when it comes to identifying ourselves All as right. a nation and as a people, yeah. must we use the European terminology and his philosophy? Like you go to the word black, for instance, in the English language, right? Uh, 
um, it which gives means you, fail. It gives you. Um, which means fail. I haven't seen that, but I'm no, not, no, no, I'm not gonna argue with you. No, no, no. Slow, slow, slow. No, no, real quick. Hold up. I just want to explain, then you can break it down. So it's like when we go back to Semitic languages, for example, outside of the English, which is a even Semitic language. was made on, by them because it didn't exist in the exact world. Hold on. Of course it did. Oh. No, no. Anyway, the Arabic, right? Yeah, That rock that's inside the cup. They yeah. call it Aswad. Yeah. Right? Aswad is translated as black. Right? But the rock is actually brown. Right? Um, so they'll say the black rock or the black stone. Yeah. But in the Arabic language, when you use the word Aswad, yeah. when you use the word Hama, it, it translates as black, but it's actually talking about dark, deep brown color. So you can use both terminologies outside of the English language. So that's what I'm saying. If we pull it out the English paradigm and put it into an Afrocentric paradigm or languages that we were speaking, when they related to yeah. black people as identifying them as um, we're using black, see that's what we're using black because it's English. No, no, but, but when I say wait, when wait, I say Hama wait. or Aswad, right? Yeah. I'm not speaking the same black that you're talking about. What okay. I'm talking about is that right there. But I'm there. not talking that. You're assuming that I am. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see? Mm. Now, this is the. Wait, this wait, is just make sure we yeah, assume it. Yeah, so we're on the same page. That, now, well, what I'm saying is, this is basically the don't use black. No, 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 as no, 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 that's not the point. No, that's oh, not hold the on, point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, What's your teacher again? We're trying to. We do that see. next after we do this. Oh, do that you next. You scared? I never. Come on, y'all know I represent my teacher. I do the same all day. I represent my teacher all day. You ain't gonna tell a white boy. You ain't gonna tell the truth. My teacher is a white boy. This is the point. This is the point. And I'm agreeing with him. Don't agree with him. Now, what you will do. Anybody that, that's a scholar, you do research, right? Mm -hmm. um, when the Europeans say anti-Semitic, right, to Asiatics, we are categorically the Semitic people. Facts. But we are anti-Semitic because we've been against ourselves. Actual facts. We are. The corruption is when we assume that it's him. Because he's taken it on, claiming to be a Jew, and he's not Jew. Although there ain't no such thing as Jew. Mm. It's Yahudi. Mm. You understand? But same thing. As I we use the term. Hebrew or more. Because we right. be confused. Now, Some say all right. that we more. Now listen. Some say that we Hebrew. Let me say this what to you. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you so that you. Whatever your guns back. And I'm going to give reference points so you can do research. Because the major thing. What's that? You are, you are whatever your army can back you on at the end of the day. All right. All right, Do you now. feel me? Am I wrong? No, hold up. No. My, my quick answer like is, now, let him our nationality is God. If I say we people right. in the trees, and we got enough army, right? Yeah. You can deal with everybody. Then we can sit down at the peace table and write them treaties. If we got this is what, this is what, right. what, this is what must be understood. And this is what must be understood. I just want to throw that question out real quick. And indisputably understood. There's a lot for us to learn. There's a lot to know. However, when we keep trying to justify not getting up where we fell down, we're out of order. It does not mean that we can't fix some other things. Are we clear? These people of Asiatic African descent, the last legal name for people of African descent on world History records, not just here, is more. So is now, it listen, wait, let me, let me, let me, no, records. that's the wrong no, question. No, no, no. That's okay, not, yeah, yeah. He said that's the last not what, legal. Oh, I got last you. One. I'm I got you. Let me qualify it again. Let me qualify. Yeah, legal. Legal. Let me qualify again. I'm going to qualify again because this is what always occurs. People keep trying to avoid the real history when they have another agenda. It doesn't mean that what they're presenting is wrong information. It's the concept of understanding the politics of the world. You cannot get up where you did not fall down. Are we clear? What runs this planet and what runs North America? Let me give you an example. Guns, For anyone, and take the little children, because little children usually don't have too much of an agenda. And so they'll look at things more objectively. Punching in com computer, it says, what did President Obama say about the Moors? And just listen to what he's saying. But also pay attention to what he did. Now I'm going to give you a series of contemporary activity to give you signals that were sent to the world. This is with 
assuming that the knowledge is with you, but not assuming I'm going to say what it, it is. The rest of the civilized world already knows that the special committee of 24 has been in action since the 60s. Parallel with that, these people were supposed to be nationalized because decolonization is supposed to take place with the aboriginal indigenous people being restored. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Now, Special Committee of 24, you can look it up yourself. Rahm Emanuel, so-called Jew, right? Obama's administration, right? Uh -huh, the mayor. He left the administration, went to Chicago, which is the sister city of Mecca. Mm -hmm. Ran for mayor. That's right. One of the first things, documents he issued from his desk was a proclamation telling the real history about these Asiatics here and what Noble Drawley did and why he did it. That's right. That was from a Jew. Right? Same information that that French Muslim schooled Malcolm when he went over there that black and white stuff. The same information Khalid found out and started telling these people they're Moors. And then you find these people that keep trying to protect the brand, whether they're Asiatic or European, because everybody that's Asiatic don't necessarily want their own people free. That's right. So, keep yeah. trying to defend the black brand, knowing it's a brand. And not what it is, not tone, knowing it's a brand and that it makes these people in law non descendable, which is really the issue. It keeps them not in, complexion. It makes them in law non descendable. Human beings cannot go around the civilized world claiming to be crayons and claim to have an inheritance. They will never get their inheritance. So let me For they they must honor their mothers and fathers like every other civilized human being. The brand system was designed to make them non-descendable. Also, with the European putting their family names on them, served the same purpose. Are we clear? Yes, sir. So, so can now, I, can the, let me finish this because right, right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm answering multiple questions because right, right. it's for other people too. Yes, yes, yes. Now. What you discover is people keep on trying to defend the black brand as if it's a complexion uh -huh. without considering it's a legal status. And then say that we're talking about complexions and what means black and what means light skinned brown and that's not the issue. It's a brand system, a code system for what is known in law and do the research, nom de gear. Okay, Which right. is a war so name, a pseudo you, name. Before you go, can I, I, can I name, name one look that up? Now. Can I name one purpose before you go? On? I think that all of us can relate to what you're saying. And, and I don't have a problem in general. No, not, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have a problem in general with that knowledge. But however, there is a problem on the other side. <laughs> What's up? Now, decide that how can we go with the plan of the damn devil? Now, now listen to me out for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Right? So when he make his treaties, when he makes his wait, hold on, hold on, just just let me generalize. No, no and be, then you can, be, be specific. No, listen, be specific. With the Native Americans, no, no, the listen, 40 listen, acres. Listen, listen, wait, listen, hold listen. up, Todd. No, I'm no, not no, even no. being hold that on, deep. Hold on, hold you on, can hold answer on. it, no, brother. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to answer it. Let's qualify. Go ahead, go ahead. Because what I don't do, mm -hmm. and this is what I don't do. I don't entertain conjecture. Mm -hmm. I okay. don't entertain spurious questions or statements. <laughs> okay. Meaning that and you make see, wait, see, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Because for you to say it's conjecture. If you're wait, going wait, to up, talk no, about treaties, you want to say it's name the treaties. We ain't got to name no treaties. We know the damn name cracker. Wait, we know the damn cracker stole us, took us, took our name, took our education, miseducated us. This is what he did to us. So how the hell are we going to sit here and talk about when you say treaties, now we got to be specific. The damn devil always operated like that. He colonized the whole planet. Hold up. He colonized the whole damn planet. And now we're still talking about treaty, name man. a specific treaty. What treaty the hell were all his treaties? <laughs> what I'm telling you is that I don't I don't say that we cannot hold up. I don't say that we cannot I cannot say just one treaty. I already said it. They broke the treaty when we were supposed to get 40 acres of the mule. Isn't this correct? I don't know the name. And I don't care. But he knows what I'm talking about, so that's a bunch of no, crap. You know what I'm talking about, man. But listen, but this is the end I wanna say. And then I'm gonna give you the mic. <laughs> what I'm saying is this is what I'm saying. I don't disagree with we connect with 
or call ourselves, you know, Moors or whatever the case may be. I don't agree with that. Because I think that at the end of the day, we could call ourselves what, what we want. If we collectively fine. say, this is what we want to be. We want to be, be the cracker killers and the world will know us as the cracker killers. You know, only you know what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, how is it? See, the white man, you know how he used God in the devil. He's not white man, he's European. Hold on, hold on. He used God in the devil, right? Now look. Now look. We gotta be We gotta go. We gotta go. Family, I'll talk with you. White means pure. I'm gonna be coming, I'm gonna be coming over. Now, now listen. Now listen. This is the now listen respectfully. Now this is what occurs. This is what occurs. This kind of conversation is not difficult with other nationals. It's only difficult with people who are Did Saddam Hussein have a nationality? Hold on. Did, did he have a nationality? Yes, he did. did Gaddafi have a nationality? Yes. Did, did, did all of these African African civilizations did they have nationalities? Did the Ashanti have a nationality? Did the Fulani have a nationality? And didn't they now, now look what happened? They came and stripped everything. So this is what I'm saying. Let's wake the hell up and stop playing games. If we want to call ourselves something, we can call it that. But let's try, stop trying to play the white man political governmental game and go to hell. He'll fry your ass in court every single time, man. Understand who God is, understand who the devil is. When you know who God is and you know who the devil is, you'll know your place and that's your sovereignty. The point of England like, God is gold, oil, and drugs. So yeah. when you coming at it like that, I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. Ahead. Go ahead. This man's because man's ideal is God, and man's God today, tomorrow is not God. And the prophets come here just to do the railroads, right? The Chinese, right? Chinese. Now, so we drafted uh, letters, responses, rebuttals, affidavits to the IRS. They know the history. He put an ill on his title. What year did the IRS come into? This was for 210 to 11. As a matter of fact, we're doing another one that they coming at him. I'm gonna yeah, tighten it up a little bit later. What I'm saying is this. This is what this is what the IRS responds. This is what the IRS responds. Stop with these damn Jeopardy questions, man. Stop with these Jeopardy questions and answers. We gotta stop the Alice Trebek. Who is... Come on, man, stop this. You have the honor of your mothers and fathers. You don't start trying to act like you're European and going transact business in that European's name and think that you're gonna own property. That's, civilization is when you're in honor. It doesn't mean how much money you have, how much you don't have. It means when you have a respect for your culture and you also respect your fellow man, even if they're Europeans. Now, we have political opposites or political uh, uh, arguments. However, you respect them for who they are. You don't go calling them out of their name and then don't expect them to call you out of your name. Oh, no. Meaning that you're oh, supposed no. to act civilized in regards of what they do. Now, that this is, is the point. Though. Yeah, it's not. If, you, if your child does something wrong, you would say, you know what? That's wrong. That was bad of, of you course. to do. Yeah. You know, you should think better. Now, if we put it on the realm of, in general, I agree with you. You shouldn't just go around. You shouldn't just go around with the Europeans and just start, you know. Calling them names and stuff, that's childish. No. But in general, but in general, right. we can't say amongst some people let, let, they are the damn great devils. Let, let, hold up, hold up, because yeah. if you are a Muslim, right? This is what the Quran of Muhammad Ibn Abdullah says, right? That they are the great damn devils. We can't get around that. So once we tell our people and let them know that they are in a trap. Set by our European counterparts, and once they detach themselves from his culture, once they detach themselves from his mindset, once they detach themselves from his atheism, then our people will be back on the top. Once we give away, say, to hell with your alcohol, to hell with your way of life, to hell with the way that you're making us work every single day, 30 years, 40 years, getting into mortgages, getting into interest. When, you, when we leave that, then we'll get power and we'll get ourselves back. You know now, what I'm saying? That's just real talk. This baby, baby girl. Now, if you li if you listen to when adults talking, come out uh, the half, if When we listen yeah. to adults yeah. talking, you listen to us talking, and we're trying to reason. You notice how unreasonable it deduces to a bunch of arguing. We agree, but we keep disagreeing. Right. You take a child, and the child doesn't have an agenda. They don't identify themselves by their clothes. She identifies herself by mother. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Now, this is the fact of law, baby girl. This is the fact of law. Now, what, where we have cheated you, us, 
us, right? And I love you. Just when I say you know. adults, yeah, but let me, let me show you where we cheated them. When you're learning, or you got a dictionary, your mom got your dictionaries home, when you're looking up words, keep this in mind. Never go past a word that you don't understand. Are we clear? All right? There's eight parts of speech, say it. Eight parts of speech. Say, so consider these blocks like this, eight parts. Every time you have a word, it's going to go in one of these blocks, right? When they're young, like two and three, you know, because you can teach them then. Yes. You know what I mean? You actually can. It's just the, the BS out here that people keep saying yes. that they can. It's bull. You give them five and ten words, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then let her go look them up. But this is the rule I'm going to tell you already. And you'll learn from it too. And you'll understand this has nothing to do with opinion. One of the problems that we have, as soon as you start talking facts, our people will start talking about what they believe. Or condemning people. Which is the first indicator of incompetence and juvenile mentality. Which is why even Asiatics don't respect so-called black people. Because we're extremely ignorant. We will not deal with facts. We keep throwing our emotions into an argument rather than dealing with the facts and sticking with the facts and condemning facts even though they're provably true because it doesn't fit our club beliefs. Right. Now I'm gonna show you something that you'll learn on your own, right? Now, your mother, this is how it works all over the world. In truth, government is matriarchy. Always was. Are we clear? Yes. Now in her writ tense, matriarchy. Do you understand? So when they start throwing around, when they start, when people start throwing around Jesus, God, Allah, Moses, right. Muhammad, look out because you're getting ready to get injured. Uh oh, say that again. When people start throwing around Jesus, God, Allah, Muhammad, Buddha, and stuff like that, look out, you're getting ready to get injured. Why? Why, so? why would you unless say that? it's qualified. Unless it's yeah, qualified. Why would you say that? Because it's the truth. Because the masses use what they're calling religion to injure people, to hurt people, to judge people, not with facts, but with their biased opinions most of the time. And most of them don't really read the books thoroughly or know that the books have a Kabbalistic origin. And they absolutely do. Because to make it wrong means they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Excuse my expression. But this is the deal. When you look up a word, the first thing that you do is you go behind the word. You know like when you look up a word a dictionary and you see the italics. What the way they break it down, right? Yeah. The italics is when you see the abbreviation with the bent letters right after. Okay, yes. All right, so black, you'll see adjectives. Okay. Right? Now, the baby girl, she doesn't have a political agenda until we right. give it to her. Right. Right? Because her mind would be pure until we mess her up. Right. Right. I'm serious. No, so so the right child right? knows no, that an adjective is a modifier. No it is not a noun. So the child knows that an adjective is not a person, place, thing, or idea. A noun is a person, thing, a name used to identify a person, thing, place, thing, idea. Right? Now, black's an adjective, right? Right? All right, now. So you go, if somebody calls you black, you know they call us black, they call us a lot of things, right? Right. So you go to dictionary, you know that an adjective can be used to describe you, but it can never be an identity. Right. And if it's used as an identity, sociologically, it's a brand. Okay. Meaning that intelligence tells you that you don't have to debate, but people will debate it because they have a political agenda or a belief agenda contrary to truth. Right. No matter what it is, that's fact. Right. Indisputably. Now, so, so Todd, you said you don't let have me finish, a let me finish. Agenda? Wait, let me, let me, no, children are less contaminated. <laughs> No, no, no. Would no, you say no. she had one or not? No, not yet. So I will show you that she had no. one right now. No, why did you, not yet. Can I, can I show you that she does have? Well, not yet. Let me finish. Let me, right no, let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, come on, brother. Come on, man. Come now, on. Yeah. Oh, now you want to go home to ordinary dictionary? You want to go home to ordinary dictionary? Sorry. An ordinary dictionary, and then you have. Do you have an American Heritage dictionary? No, I mostly use the ones that are like online. No, don't. Okay. Everything that's contemporary, okay. they will edit it out because by the General Education Board set up by the Rockefellers in 1902, 
it is deliberately set up to make the people docile. Yeah. Okay. This is why scholars always get old books. Are we clear? Yes. All right. Now, understand English does not belong to the Europeans. Okay. English is a mixture of languages. It's a yes. commercial language. Yes. When someone projects to your child, that ain't your language, they're lying to you. That's your language too. Okay. Do you understand? We, we always spoke at least five languages until we got messed up here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Agreed. By both Europeans and so-called black people. Okay. Both of which are phony. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, the people that have been called white people are Europeans. Right. White and black in the Americas refer to legal statuses, not complexion. Right. People yeah. think complexion because they're trained to think that. They are legal statuses. Are we clear? Now, people of Northwest Africa, Asia, Phoenicians, ETC, in law, are free white people. Law book. You, I'm going to come up in the near future, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of videos with Sonetta. Okay. And I'm going to bring documents. Also, I'm going to drop this on your on your computer. Mm -hmm. And if possible, everybody knows Sonetta. Leave a flash drive with him. I'll give you enough information to keep you busy for 10 years and more. <laughs> Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary of Ancient and Modern Jurisprudence is not European stuff. That's African origin. We taught it to the Europeans. What you find is Asiatics are so biased themselves, they keep dismissing knowledge that they think belongs to the European, that's Moorish science. Mm -hmm. It's called the Renaissance. Look it up yourself. Look it up, baby. The Renaissance, the Renaissance means, you know, you hear people saying that in the churches, right? Yes. To be born again. Yes. That comes from the Renaissance, 13th to the 16th century. The Moors brought the Europeans out of the medieval period into the modern world and then sell out sellout Moors who call themselves black keep acting like that education is the European stuff and that it's not African in origin. That is our knowledge and the European is ruling us yeah. with our knowledge and we keep dismissing it saying that's the white man stuff because you're a white man. <laughs> right. I can show it to you in the law book. Do you understand? It's just that your overseers have trained these people to think that black is an Afrocentric identity. It is not. It's a brand system. Do you understand? Now, look at this, baby. And then you go look at this. Yes. And then talk. You won't see me first, but you'll see Sinetta. But once you do a little bit of research, don't, first, don't get angry. Right. But what you will do is this. You'll stop forgiving all of these people running around trying to justify black once you understand. I'm going to give you these things to look up in law. Meaning I'm giving you supports. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm going to give you supports. And I challenge you to test it with any national on the planet. Matters not. If they feel comfortable with you to have an honest well, I conversation agree with, what you're with you, saying with the term black, not because of its it is a term or, or the orientation of where it derives from or if it's a color. I just feel it that is. as in now, like, this why is what you want to attach discover. ourselves to people this who is, already been covered? now. This is what I'm going to tell you that you can find out almost immediately, your right, baby girl? You to that. You're going to go on a computer. You're going to go on a computer, right? We were, we were go the on a computer. Agreed. So we can act like a new language. See, the rulers of the planet had a name. They weren't black people. Why do we need new? See, this you understand? The they were Canaanites. There was more. No, 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 no. Do you understand? That's but what the he's last talking legal is name old. that all people of That's what African I'm saying. descent so, when, no, are listen. known as. So when, when, when we say that our babies. Right don't have a political agenda, right. right? And I'm not putting nobody out there, but that's, that's talk about facts and reality. I mean, seriously, because we I mean, get a lot of, hold up, we get, 
listen, listen. We get a lot of Jeopardy questions. I love them. A lot of Jeopardy questions and Jeopardy answers. But let me see. Hold up. Wait, it should be. Wait, wait, Taj, real quick. She has a political agenda, and I'm going to prove it with her mother's permission. Of course. I'll prove it. All right. The first thing is, my, my lovely daughter, don't worry that about the wrong or right answer, okay? Just answer truthfully so we can see where we at. Right. What school you go to, honey? Yeah. Don't do homeschool. Yes, that was my old school. <laughs> that was right, right? Hold up, hold up. How, what, what, I took her out this year. What, this Say year. again? I took her out this year. So how many years did she go to public school? Um, PS in New York. She went up all the way up to um, this grade. year. Yeah, January. Third grade. So, so PS in New York is public school, right? So the people don't know, right? So public school is controlled by the European, our European counterparts, right? So now, I'm going to put this in perspective to show what her political agenda is. Her political agenda, not now because mommy took her out, but prior to that and if she would have kept her in, right? What the political agenda would be is to hate us, hate herself, right? Because we know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It would be transferred to her to hate herself with yes. and, and have an inferior mindset, Agreed. right? So what I'm saying is, is that as soon as we put our people inside, our children inside the enemy school, he's already systematically yes. building a political agenda that's, that's going to represent him that's through true. our children that's and ourselves. True. So this is why at the end of the day in the 1940s we had the Dow test, right? That's true, and then yeah. the Dow test said the black children was like, well the white people are much intelligent, more smarter, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, 2009, after the election of so-called Barack Obama, when our black children was like, oh, it's a black president, right? What happened? They did the same Dow test and came up with the same results. So it shows us one thing. It shows us that white supremacy is influencing the mind of our people because that's his system. So the only way to rid ourselves into free Freedom and liberation is to destroy his system. Point blank, period. How do you first destroy the system? You first come with your own ideals and customs, which I agree with. Separation. Which I agree with. And also separation. You're absolutely right. Because the devil and God cannot co uh, cohabitate the same space unless the devil submits to the creator, which the manifestation of the creator is us and our people first and foremost. So I'm going to close here, right? Because I'll never really get to say it. At the end of the day, I attach, I'll say, yeah, I'm a Moor. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand some history that you'll give me. I will also attach myself with other with other um other other nationalities as well that represent so-called black people as I do. But but hold up, this is the last thing. But he won't tell the truth. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if I am the manifestation of God. You understand? And I really believe that and understand that, that through, through our lineage came the recessive. Hold up. Through our lineage came the recessive. Then that means that you got to take your throne as being a manifestation of God. Support what he says. Go back to ruling the earth. I'm going to support what he says. Thank you, brother. Now, and I wish... You know, uh, sis, I wish that we had more time because I could take my teachers. I could take a few more. You said that you felt. I could take a few more. Not debate. You already know. Right. Not try to prove a point. You know, I go hard. But I'm prove hard. everything that I'm he saying. He wants to tell you who his teacher is, and his teacher is stronger than everybody else. You tell them who I teach. You're not concerned about that. No, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned with that. That doesn't impress me one way or another. You said the books. My issue. You my issue. Nothing, See, this is this is my issue, and this has always been my issue. My issue is this. I challenge, because this is on tape. I challenge it too. I challenge. This is what I challenge. For anyone, no matter whom, to prove a word that I have said to be wrong historically, oh. lawfully, legally, etymologically, or by fact. That's number one. Because like everything <laughs> I've spoken from has been from scholarly research, well, not well, from private bias, club, or belief position. And it is very provable immediately. Now, problem. This is my issue. And this is what my concern is with with the baby. Mm -hmm. She's her baby, but she's our baby. Right. Agreed. That's right. That's right. Now we have a responsibility to her to not present our emotions in our arguments. It's be 
S. I don't care what club you belong to. Right. It is bloodline that is recognized by the planet. Are we clear? Agreed. Right. Now, these people in North America fell with the last legal name provable in any government, in any government record. Moors. That's how they fell. If they think that they're going to rise claiming to be anything else, they can do that. However, in law, they've given up their birthright. Facts. And the law that protects them under international law and treaty cannot be enforced. Do you understand? Meaning that this baby, although she is offspring from her, in law, the condition of the child is the condition of the mother. Agreed. Do you understand? If the mother does not know her pedigree, the child in law is automatically a ward of the state. She doesn't have options of calling herself anything she wants to call herself. Don't mean that she can't do that. But if somebody promotes that, they're causing injury. And the civilized world does have no respect for such persons that keep promoting that fraud when it's too easy to know. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna present this to you, and this is for anybody that's sitting in this room right now, because this kind of conversation goes on, on and on. Rahm Emanuel, the so-called Jew, left the Obama administration, ran for mayor of Chicago, which is the sister city geographically of Mecca. He's a Jew. He exposed the history according to the North Star, Dugan, the North Star, the North Gate, with the winter solstice on December the 22nd. That hurt. date was not what accidental why he did what he did. Do you understand? And he exposed the history of these Moorish Americans here. He talked about their mental servitude. He talked about the great super devere, that's the dividing of the land between Ham and Cush before the great earthquake. And that part of the Moroccan Empire is North, South, and Central America. That's right. Okay. Rahm Emanuel told that Where history. Where get that Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Obama. Go ahead. Come on, Went to Hikupta, which is the proper name of Egypt. Michelle broke tradition and went to the Alhambra, the last stronghold of the Moors. He exposed to the world that the American Constitution is derived from Muslim law. She goes to the Alhambra, the last stronghold of the Moors before the Pontifex of 1492. They come back. The international community all over the world takes pictures of them coming through double doors dealing with the Kabbalistic wisdom of the higher self and the lower self. She wears a red dress. The guard is standing clearly to the left, big as day with the Moorish flag. They come back immediately and assign the rights of indigenous people for these people to declare their nationality in accord with the international community, which they've been trying to get done here for decades, and they've been held by, by their so-called sellout black leaders that keep on trying to justify the brands, and the civilized world is telling these people to be descendable. You must honor your mothers and fathers. You can't continue to keep playing like your crayons. In law, it makes you not descendable. You fellows Moors, and you must rise as Moors because it's that treaty that they're obligated to. Then he went before the General Assembly of the world, and he went immediately to the Treaty of Tripoli, Article 11. What can more messages thing, can you can, get? Can I just jump in? Go ahead. One, one minute. One, one, one minute. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I heard you, and, and, and you're very intelligent speaker, and I got that. <laughs> But they got them cannons, man. They got them guns, man. All right? We had all these things, nations and all that. They do not honor treaties. That's right. Right? They honor none of these things. That's true. Once you beat them and they can't beat you, they say put it on paperwork. Right. Okay? So at the end of the day, yo, if you don't got the weaponry to back up what you're saying, then you ain't got shit. Because they rob and they steal and they take. Right. Now, civilized, hold on, you made the statement about the civilized world. Since when was they ever civilized? Not them. I've never seen that. No, not them. Let me finish though. Let me make my point. The civilized hold on, let me finish my nations. point. Let me finish my Do you point. Understand? I'm saying no matter what nation you are, if you cannot if you cannot protect your food, clothing, and shelter, you have nothing. Because they take. 
That's why we don't deal with yeah, them. We don't want to sit down a table with them. That's the because they do not follow. They We're do not, not follow that, what that they put down on paper. Not, Let me finish that's my point. That's irrelevant, but no, that wasn't the subject what I'm matter. Saying, no, that was the subject matter. Let me no, finish my point. I didn't cut your whistle. We weren't talking about them being honorable. That's not what we're talking about. Well, you said they were civilized. My point I want to make is... I said the civilized world. You cannot... Hold on. You know, I'm tired of being in New York and everybody cut me the fuck off. How about that? Let's cut the crap. Welcome to New York. I want to make very, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> said, you know? Welcome to New York. Hold <laughs> on, oh, no, you won't. No, 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 no. Hold on. Ahead, ahead, the ahead. point I want to make is, yo, he's nice at what he do with that language, right? No. But if you don't got a weapon that can yeah. stop them at the end of the day, yeah. you can't implement none of the things you think you want to do. That's black African power. That Listen, that's one more thing. Hold on, one thing. Yeah, I'm out of here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look, that's a good point, though. That, that is now. a good point. Hold up, one more point, and I'm, I'm out of here. I gotta get out of here. Hurry up. Well, listen. There's no such thing as international law. There's no such thing as a federal law in America. What? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Listen. There's no such thing as international law. There's no such thing as American law. There's no such thing as these nations like we're speaking about. Let me tell you. It's like the tomato nowadays. It's genetically modified. It's the idea of what a tomato is. This is the idea of what international national law is. But it does not exist as we're saying. You know why? You know why it doesn't? Because at the end of the day, the United Nations, is this bad? The United Nations was created by our European counterparts. His international law was created by our European counterparts. European counterparts. So there's no such thing as true international law. Because if you are unjust, the white man, he's the one that came up with this new world order concept. You understand? We have to to do all this international law and all that, that's only when you are violating people's borders, when you are violating their human rights, that's when you get all these so-called international laws. You mean with them, you with them, too, with the no, Muslims did? Mine's a law, we have the building, man. Muslims. I want you to hear this too. Yes. Let's see that. What because real scholars not don't sit around and talk emotions. Don't give me five minutes. That's right. They deal with nothing facts. I didn't say nothing about it. I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. If we're looking at this tape and we're presenting any quality for respect to the civilized world and talking about that we love our children. What do you mean when you say civilized world? Can I finish please? I'm just what do you mean? Civilized world is people who honor their mothers and fathers. What do you mean? Like if you're dealing with people like say from Egypt and from Zimbabwe, say from China, some Cambodia, we're not talking about their economics. They will not be going around trying to justify that human beings are crayons and they wouldn't be <laughs> arguing with you on this point. It wouldn't even be debatable. It's only debatable with people that have some kind of political agenda that has no foundation in truth, has foundation in European code systems that we condemn on one hand and then we keep promoting it against our own self in the same breath, which is a contradiction. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Now. What you got? As an example, what you got? From the top. this, remember the Dred Scott case is used all over the world as a measurement for status and citizenship ETC. Not true. We're not arguing, well, he can say that. We're talking what is fact. He says it's not true. Well, he can say what he wants to say. Yo, yo, we out, well, the civilized world <laughs> deals with this knowledge. So you telling me Gaddafi was using Dred Scott to prove no, his nationality? We gotta, we gotta be out. Come on. Oh, come on. That's crazy. Come on, y'all. <laughs> told you, man, anytime you want to be late, he can't Oh, I'm going to have to stop. You get late, he want to get money. I want you to see this in context. All right, hurry up, brother. Let's Look at this in context. Real quick, real quick. Yo, uh! Oh. I want you to see this in context. Come over here in the light, under the light. Yeah, one uh, one website is rvbaypublications.com. rvbaypublications.com. And my stuff was on other websites too. As well as other people in different parts of the world use my information Yo, Todd, too. I gotta from go. other nations. Well, let me read this real quick. Yo, uh, man, this is we brother. gotta read this. We got this. If you need another website, you go to facebook.com slash Lord Merkel. Okay? Now, keep in mind, this is, this is comments made on the Dred Scott case. Now, any scholar that claimed and not to know this is not qualified to keep arguing about our people's condition. Facts. To deny this is both banal and ignorant. 
and the world don't respect people that won't deal with facts. Now that's just it. Now we got issues and we need to start dealing with facts. Now the union is much older than the constitution, etc. But let's go past this. You're dealing with the Declaration of Independence, right? Here we go. Lincoln challenges justice, right? That's the all, the all the fact, right? That's Taney's. This is with the Taney's case. I have said in substance that the Dred Scott case decision in part based on assumed historical facts that were not really true uh -huh. and I know not leave to leave the subject without giving some measure for saying I therefore give it instance of two in two which I think fully um, sustain me Chief Justice Taney is delivering the majority opinion of the court insist at great length that Negroes were not part of the people who made and for whom was made the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States. Come on. On the contrary, Come on. Judge Curtis in his dissembling opinion shows that in five of the 13 states to wit, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New York, That's New right. Jersey, North Carolina, free right. Moors. New York. <laughs> were voters and in proportion to their numbers had the same part in making the Constitution that white people had. Uh, that is the distinction. Uh, the Moors are free, blacks are their slaves. No, same blood, same people, legal status, on, Taj. documented. Uh, you gotta call, you gotta and call they the Hold up, wait a minute, Todd. <laughs> Todd, wait a minute for a second. How you gonna feed us that Gerber baby food like that, though, baby? No, brother, no, 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 hold up. Just give me a second, man, seriously. Right? Our brother's trying to tell us. Trying to come. Now, y'all better get Brother Bashir back on his damn pedal stool, because this is a bunch of garbage, right? They want to tell us that Dred Scott case is basically. Go ahead, because he yelling. I can't hear you. has got more Islam than you'll ever be taught. You left home. You didn't visit home because you made the Hajj. You wow. left home. That's the Maghrib. You ever heard the of the great Saint Masonic Madea? secret? You ever and heard when of Malcolm came here, I yes. Saint Akbadir? Yeah. That's his teaching. Yeah. So. <laughs> still, so, so look. So look. My so teacher is no Abu Ali. How about that one? See, you know what? The issue, with, the issue with me, I'm. I've never been, and I don't have respect for debates. Debates are for uh -oh, vain old, do ignorant do that, people. Do that's that. right. No, that's really. why. That's no, why no. he get to say what he Bring say. Facts. That's why he get to say what he say. See, 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 see you know, he talking about bringing facts, that's but he don't want to talk. Said, right?